Hey trainers, welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym, and we're going to go ahead and carry on with our playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet today. How y'all doing? So, uh, right now we're in the post game. We are doing the gym inspection for Champion Gita. We did three last episode. They were all relatively uh, easy to do. Um, we are a little bit over leveled after finishing the main game. Um, so, this is the team so far. We're going to go ahead and pop uh, Ketchatora in the top spot. Because it doesn't make any sense not to, right? Vault and Veluzas. Hey, a step right up. Welcome to the Cascarafa Gym. Vault and Veluza, look who it is. I was expecting someone else. The top champion? Aha, I see. Miss Gita put you up to this, did she? It feels like just yesterday you were out collecting your badges and now look at you. Already champion rank. You're like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life. What a great catch. And now this, our promising up-and-comer here to test my abilities himself. Don't worry, this old man's used to facing harsh reviewers, part of the restaurant business. Alrighty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called a gym leader? Yes, I am. That's what I like to hear, right this way. So I figure we'll do uh, three gym leaders in this episode as well, and that'll leave us with two more uh, afterwards. Ooh, sandstorm. Ever since you fought that for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well, what with being worthy of the champion rank. Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river, and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean. Then that water climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kofu the torrent, ever-changing, just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. Sure. Let's go. Oh, it says Vault and Veluza. I don't know why I find that so, so funny. Good ingredients don't need no cover-up spices. Get ready for a fresh old, fresh raw old man Kofu. Wow, sure I guess that's that's kind of weird, buddy. But uh, let's go. We'll go for Mega Drain. I'm just terrestrializing at the start because I have something that's super effective against all these guys, pretty much. So. Oof, that was a crit too. Okay, Seed Sower goes up, which is weird because I would have thought Mold Breaker would prevent that, but whatever. Give me all that delicious HP back, please. Ah, and it was all of it too. I love it. Ah, yes, of course we are, but we'll be healed up right away, so. Perfect choice. Ooh, except for maybe this Pelipper. Neutral damage on the, uh, neutral damage on the Mega Drain. Oof, and let's see. Ouch! And Confusion! Okay! This battle might actually be a little more interesting than the last set. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Mega Drain. Oh, no. Now, we are not faster than the Pelipper. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Do I have any full restores? I do. Okay. Out of the confusion. And the HP restored. Gosh, that does so much damage. And the confusion again. No. Uh, man, this is rough. Hmm. 
Mm, there's no point in doing another Mega Drain. Now, let's see, how shall I go about this? He's probably gonna use Hurricane again. Yep, okay. Is it gonna confuse again, though? Is it a 100% confusion rate or what? It is not, okay. But even then, I'm not gonna be able to get a move off before he knocks me out, I don't think, with Hurricane. Let's give it a shot anyway, maybe he'll do something else. Nope, he did not. But it missed. Perfect. Mega Drain? Give me all that delicious HP, please. Ooh, so close. Uh-huh. Now the question is, can I survive another hurricane? Can I can I survive this? I cannot. Okay. But we got Seed Sower back out on the field, I guess. All right. This actually was a little bit more uh, interesting than the prior couple battles. I feel kind of bad that those were such cheap wins. Not bad enough that I won't try it again, but you know. Pelipper fainted. Oh wow, that's a weird little thing. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, we'll go for Air Fryer. Okay, uh, Poison Jab. Ooh, that's not great. I'll take it. Oof, Speed Fell, all right. Uh, let's see, Clawitzer. Switch Pokemon. Let's go for Sourdough. I love that Pokemon's design. It is so cool. Um, we're just gonna go for Play Rough. Decent a bit of damage. Not uh, not crazy, but you know enough. At least we're faster. And this should do it. Get uh, HP back from Shell Bell and the Grassy Terrain. Not a lot of HP back. Like, Shell Bell is good, but it's not, you know. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll keep the current Pokemon. Gahaha! <laughs> Batten down the hatches and prepare for a storm. This is what makes battles exciting. Crabobinable. All right, uh, we will go for Play Rough again. A crabominable terrestrializing. Think outside the crab trap, I say. <laughs> sure. Think outside the crusty crab, SpongeBob, me boy. Let's go. Might actually get to listen to the music for a little while. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ice hammer? Ooh, okay. Oh, his speed fell. I'll take that. All right. Let's go. Let's put it... Let's put everything out there. Let's... It's all or nothing this time, baby. Double edge. Ooh, that did not do 
nearly enough. Ice hammer again. Okay, so we're gonna lose uh, sourdough here. Let's see. Well, let's go for anchovy. I think Glaive Rush should do it. There we go. There we go. Dunzel. He looks so happy. What a refreshing loss. My mind's as clear as still water. You really put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less with someone, uh, from someone with La Primera's seal of approval. What a catch! The wildest currents, for better or for worse, pull in everything around them and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. Phew! Your youthful vigor's got my bone aphasia up, flowing like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and you come back to see me again now, you hear? Okay. So I think it's going to be the psychic type uh, gym leader next. I think that's where I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, so those are the classic Pokemon uh, artwork tiles that I was told about. They're actually really cool. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and take on... Ooh, actually, let's go ahead and grab this TM here. Bulk up. Nice. All right, let's take on this gym leader. Now, maybe we'll do two this episode and three the next episode, because this is taking a little longer. Milk Mustache Lady. Oh, if it isn't Jim, it's been too long. Your beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. You're too kind. Oh, accepting compliments with grace, I see. How wonderful. I hope you remain that way. So you're here in place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. That bewitching aura of her overlaps too much with my own style. So it may be for the best that she sent someone else for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. Without further ado, are you ready to pursue quintessential beauty together? Sure. Oh, wonderful. Let's head to the battle court. I'm glad that we don't have to do this gym test again. Ah, the rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes the feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. A diamond in the rough that I helped to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest I emotion, emotion I allow to is the beauty of surprise. Okay. Allow me to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. That's not really emotional spectrum practice. That's denying your emotions. For Rigoraf, yeah. All right. So... You want to know the secret of my beauty? I'll enroll you on my most difficult hands-on course. So let's go ahead and terastalize nice and early and crunch. Boof. All right. 
Oh, not quite an Oko, unfortunately. Iron Head, all right. Not that big of a deal. Uh, Gardevoir. Keep current Pokemon. Can't use, uh... Can't use any Dragon-type terrestrialization moves here, but we can still use Crunch. It's not like Gardevoir is known for being bulky. Dazzling Gleam, okay. Oof. Ouch. Okay, uh, is Spartha? No, we'll keep the current Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Dragon Claw. This one we're going to get a boost on for terrestrializing. There we go. Now let's see. Galade. Psychic Fighting, right? Yeah. Keep current Pokemon. It loses that fairy type. Dragon Claw. Let's see, Florges, keep current Pokemon. It's going to terrestrialize into a Psychic type, so that's not so bad. Surprises are not good for my skin. Glaive Rush. Come here, my little Florges. It's time for a skin cleanse. You'll become a new you. One that can be hurt by dragon type moves. Oko, Oko, yeah, there we go. We defeated Gym Leader Tulip. A shocking glow up to be sure. You're the total package. I expected no less. Beauty, strength, you've got it all. You know, in my line of work, people who lack talent in one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. Met with all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption in their desperation and end up even more miserable than the mundane do. It would be better for those people if they never even had the slightest bit of talent to begin with. Wow. Don't fade away, Jim. I want to see just how far your talent can go. This can be a promise between us. I hope you won't break it. You did splendidly today. Thank you for everything. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of uh, that particular set of gym leaders. I am very much looking forward to catching you folks in the next episode. But until then, please take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.